Well, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. Take a look at the almanac like we always do. And we mix the high with the low. And we're about 12 degrees above what we would normally expect on yesterday's date. And we keep above average temperatures today. By the way, precipitation, well, we got on some heavy rain yesterday. We broke the record. Now, the record, which was originally set in 1967, was three quarters of an inch of rain. That's a daily rainfall total. And we managed to accumulate uh, 0.81 inches of rain at the National Weather Service office in Nagani and uh, we had a lot of rainfall reports and uh, so some folks receiving more than uh, 2.4 inches of rain. Take a look at what's happening today. It's another warm, humid day and we keep the threat for lingering showers and storms, but we start to clear out in the afternoon. Take a look at what's happening now on the national map and we're still watching all this moisture and uh, well, we'll eventually see that activity working across the uh, northern plains and up through the Rockies and into the Great Lakes. Eventually, here's what we're watching uh, across the UP, though. There's been some scattered showers and some storminess, especially across uh, this Wisconsin line. We saw a severe thunderstorm warning in places like uh, Price, Ashland and Iron Counties in Wisconsin. 60 mile an hour gusts, some nickel size hail there. But uh, we've seen some storminess across the UP as well. Taking a closer look, places like uh, Gladstone eventually getting hit, uh, Escanaba, uh, La, uh, La Branche, and uh, places like that. And the, all this activity continuing to dive south and east into the lower peninsula. Meanwhile, starting to clear out in the west. Now, there have been some uh, areas of fog to watch for as well down to uh, less than a quarter of a mile in some spots. Keep that in mind as you're heading out the door. Temperatures into the 60s and 70s and around the Great Lakes as this being recorded at the 8 o'clock hour on your Tuesday. A little warmer looking downstate uh, with some rain showers affecting that area too. Mid 70s there and dew points into the upper 60s and low 70s. Still plenty humid and muggy as you step outside. We don't get r much relief overnight like we normally would. So uh, that uh, also caused a problem into the morning and that humidity continues for another day. Here's what we're watching. All kinds of heat and humidity all across basically a third of the North American continent. You can see Quebec warm 64 degrees there warmer in Sawyer 68. So we watch this frontal boundary slide south and east throughout our Tuesday, we see improving conditions as high pressure starts to build in. You'll see that high pressure axis overhead by Wednesday. That means mainly sunny and dry conditions. But then again for Thursday, we're watching this next front on the approach. And that brings a chance for showers and storms Thursday afternoon into the west initially spreading eastward as we move through Thursday evening. And you can still see it's plenty warm and humid too. Talk about a cool down eventually for the weekend, but for today we've got a few areas of fog to watch for. We keep the threat for lingering showers, isolated thunderstorms, as you just saw, mainly across south central and eastern UP, eventually clearing out in the west, and then that uh, clearing sky conditions move into the uh, rest of the upper peninsula. Temperatures warmest into the interior west into the mid 80s. Once again, cooler by the shorelines and points east into the uh, upper 70s and low 80s. Now we dry out tonight, but all this low level moisture will stick around. That means widespread fog, especially across the western UP and along the superior shoreline. Temperatures into the 60s, warmest south. So it's a foggy start to our Wednesday. We'll clear all that moisture out of here, enjoying mainly sunny skies into the afternoon. Temperatures coolest by the shoreline into the mid and upper 70s and much warmer inland. Once again, it's another warm, humid day into the mid and upper 80s in some of the warmer spots. Your TV six day forecast. So showers and storms on tap for Thursday afternoon and to uh, lingering into Friday. And then another disturbance works in for Saturday night into Sunday. Looking at the uh, rest of the Labor Day weekend, conditions improving and cooler temperatures on tap to around average. Have a great day and thanks for watching.